I'm homeless. I said words like that when I did my vision scan in November of 2014. As I stood in the middle of a circle of classmates, I watched your faces looking back at me, and you were thinking, why in the world would someone who looks like me say a thing like that? I told you my story, and as a point of reference, I will put that story into context for those of you tonight who were not there on Vision Stand Day. So here's the short version. I was a complete fish out of water here. I had packed everything I owned into a yellow Penske truck and moved to Cleveland. The first couple of years, I cried a lot. By year three, I had found lots of things to love about the city, but I just didn't feel at home. I was adrift, a boat without a dock. I loved so many things about this city. I've been everywhere. Great restaurants, every stall in the West Side Market, the Q, Indians games, the Rock Hall, Art Walks, the Flea, I could go on and on. A complete tourist. The ship had sailed on my hometown, but I needed to stop crying about what I loved and be in my presence. Bridge Builders began. I figured this would be like any other young professionals group. I would genuinely like about 5% of you. <laughs> I would think that 80% of you were jerks, and the other 15% were probably fake. I put a new experience on my resume. I do an amazing project for an equally amazing organization. 10 months, easy peasy, couple new contacts in the old iPhone 6, and done. But they say, to whom much has been given, much is required. So that's not what happened. What did happen was something big for me. It started at the retreat. None of you were fake. None of you were jerks. People wanted to be here. It was like you took a bunch of energy, drive, passion, experience, and talent, and we threw it all in a room, and we shook it up to see what could happen, what could happen to this city. I had one of those moments at the retreat where all the hairs on the back of your neck stand up and you know you are exactly where you're supposed to be. I've had more of those moments during this experience. As a class, we experienced so many amazing places, great mission-driven organizations led by inspirational leaders. I walked the manufacturing floors of vocational guidance services and I saw the faces of people overcoming challenges in so many uniforms for our servicemen and women. I listened in awe to every one of you as you spoke your passion in your own vision stands. We collaborated at University Hospital, touring the amazing Simon Cancer Center, and learning directly from community leaders about health disparities in the city and the amazing people who are standing in the gap to fight to change it. At the food bank, we learned of the incredible need about influence. We were inspired at Urban Community School seeing the impact they make on the daily lives of their kids. We sat across from leaders who are truly shaping the community and businesses that we live in every day. We listened and we heard. I'd be missing something important about my own experience if I left out tough mother. I'm not an athlete. I actually hate getting dirty, <laughs> but I did it. And I'm not a person who likes to receive help. But I will tell you that there are people in this room who have pulled me over walls that I could not physically or mentally climb without them. It was truly a team experience, and Robert, I have to thank you sincerely for making that happen. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> I have looked into the eyes of a fourth grade child who I knew would eat his only meal at school that day. I saw his potential, I saw his heart, and in that moment, something happened in mine. Shortly after that, I took a selfie with my 10-year-old stepson Liam at the Cleveland Flea, and the two of us stood in the sun with big, cheesy smiles holding a box of nuts. Days later, I pulled out that photo and I looked at it again, and I noticed something that I hadn't noticed before. I saw the sign that was behind us, and the sign read, Cleveland. We are the rising tide. My immediate reaction was, yeah, that's true. We are the rising tide, with our startups and our restaurants and our big sparkling chandelier and playhouse square, the hipsters, the development, the RNC, the caps. Everything, all the great things that we love about the city. 
But I guess I was feeling particularly reflective that day. Because after that thought, my next thought was, yeah, but who is the we? Because you see, after Bridge Builders, my mind is bigger. The scope of my understanding is larger. I am different. There is an aphorism about the tide, and it says, the rising tide lifts all boats. I want, with all my heart, for that aphorism to be true for this city. Because you and me, we are the we, but who will we bring with us in our boats? Because the one thing I know for sure is that my children cannot rise as high if that beautiful child in Central cannot come to. So bridge builders, you have invested in me. You have invested in all of us. Thank you to Rachel, Mary Ann, Andrew, and Heather for the incredible job you did. Thank you to David Akers for your vision. Thank you to my husband Jason and my in-laws for your support. My boss, John Smith, and my former boss, Jeff Lucy, for making this program happen for me. Because you see, before this program, I was a tourist. I saw only what the visitor guide wanted me to see. But I never heard all of Cleveland's song. I never saw her true beauty until I saw all of her. So tonight, I am thankful for this program and for the inspiration that all of you have provided me throughout. Tonight, there is not one thing left for me to cry about, and there is only work for me to do. So this is my Bridge Builders experience. This is Cleveland. Because of all of you, my boat is in your harbor, and I am home.